why don't you come on over? See, I'd like to go over with you, when do the police have to read you the Miranda warnings? Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney located in Ithaca, New York. You know, people sometimes call me and they say, the police never gave me my Miranda warnings. They never read me my Miranda rights. They didn't give me Miranda. And they say, uh, doesn't that violate everything and throw everything out? Well, first, you have to know when do the police have to give you these Miranda warnings? You know, the right to remain silent, right to have an attorney present during questioning, you know, the, the, the normal ones that you hear on TV all the time. Uh, when do they have to do that? Well, there's two things that trigger Miranda. Number one is you're placed in custody. Custody means you have no freedom of action to move. So you, you can't leave. Uh, normally, you know, people always think about that as if you're arrested. So if a police officer just comes up and gets in your face, I guess it's debatable whether or not you have deprivation of freedom of movement at that point in time, whether you're truly in custody. And then the second thing that would trigger them to have to give you Miranda is interrogation. So the usual, as they say, pedigree questions of where are you coming from, what are you doing, where are you going to, have you had anything to drink, that might not be considered really an interrogation. Interrogation in terms of specific directed questions. And uh, unless we have those two things, unless we have custody and interrogation by a police officer, then it doesn't trigger them to have to give you your Miranda warnings. If you have questions about your DWI case, give me a call, shoot me an email, be more than happy to discuss it with you, and thanks for watching this video.